Well, good morning. You know, some days you just need a little coffee to get going. And this was definitely one of those days. Well, okay, we have Irish cream and Kahlua. But now that we've taken care of that, we're ready to get on with this episode. If you joined us in the last episode, you'll remember that Diana and I took a nice road trip around the South Okanagan. We saw a lot of beautiful scenery, and there was a great cloud inversion that made for some wonderful photos. Diana brought along her painting equipment on that trip as well, because she was hoping that at some point she'd be able to set it up and do a little plain air painting. As it turned out, that didn't happen. Maybe because of the snow we ran into, or maybe there was just no good place to set up. So Diana was quite disappointed. Diana, any comment about that? Boo-hoo. This week, Diana's going to make up for not doing any painting on our road trip. She's working at the gallery today, and while she's there, she's going to set up her easel, and she's going to paint one of the photos I took last weekend. Let's head down there and see how she's doing. And here we are. Let's go in. Today I'm at the gallery and I will be painting today in acrylic and I will be painting from some photos that uh, Paul did last time. I never got to paint um, plain air last time. So I'm going to take the photo and choose one and paint. So these are the photos. I'm going to choose from, but I think for sure, I'm almost positive as I pull these out, I will be doing this one because I really like the lines and the colors. I'll show you what I brought on my pack. I'm only here for a day. Normally I'm here for a good three days, so I don't have to pack it in, pack it out, but anyways, here we are. I am going to have a variety of brushes, big, small, little my little water jar and of course the important brush the toothbrush I'm going to paint with uh, Stevenson paints I, I quite like Stevenson but I really enjoy uh, the golden I go oh, I have some heavy gel matte which I thought I'd incorporate into the um, the color where the the bushes are and the tall grass is giving it some texture. I have my towels. Oh, and I brought these because I'm hoping to uh, use knives, not only brushes. I have fun with with the knives. I feel freer. Oh, today I need to. Very important. Need to wear my apron that my mother-in-law Judith made for me. I just have to remember to put this on because often I will start with it on but go off and do something, take it off and then leave it on the chair and I really like sitting on it for some reason and I get paint all over me. The canvas I would be using today is 18 by 24. Take me a few more hours to finish this painting, but it's on its way. So 
So as you see, far away, it uh, starts to have the perspective going here. I still need to darken around the tree so it'll pop out more. And uh, there's a few more hours of work to do on that. But as you can see, I was able to keep my apron on all day. Now time to clean up all my toys and go home. There! All done. Well, it looks like Diana had a successful day in the gallery. Let's head over to her home studio and see how she's making out there. Hi. Continuing from um, the gallery, I've brought this home and uh, I mentioned that I wanted to do some darks around the lights just so the tree would pop. And as you can see, I've put some purples around because they are purple and um, yellow is complementary colors. So it, I think it uh, achieved the tree to be standing out. So what I'm going to do here now where I've got some darks down here in purples. So I've got my yellows and I'm going to make little strokes for grass. And so after I finish with this, I'm going to work a little more on the cloud inversion. of the rest. It's fun painting with this. Well, that's it for now. I think I'm going to let it sit for a few days and then take another look at it but done for now well that brings us to the end of today's episode i hope you've enjoyed watching diana take one of my photos and turn it into real art thanks for watching and we'll see you next time